Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, it's just me, welcome back. If you don't know who I am and you're new here, I'm Tiny Tasha, or you can just call me Tasha as everyone else does. And I'm just here to talk about real random stuff really. But today, the random stuff we're going to be talking about is headscarves. Basically, I wear quite a lot of headscarves on my Instagram and I always have done since I've had short hair. So, I always get people asking me how I do them or if I buy them already done. I definitely don't. So, I've got quite a few different ones. I'm going to show you a couple of different styles you can do. Don't worry, you're not going to look like Dr. Evil in Austin Powers. You're not going to look like him, I promise. Let's start off with probably my favourite, the one everyone knows. So, I usually get my scarves from random places. Um, this one is probably my all-time favourite. It's the perfect size, it's the best print, and it's also this really nice plissé fabric, which means it has a bit of a stretch, which is always handy as well. And it's not too silky that it falls off your head. So this is like my go-to guy. It is huge. This is from Zara. Zara actually probably do the best scarf, head scarves, as I know of at the moment. So with this scarf, we're gonna create this look. So you just need a scarf. What is also really handy, which I always have, just to make it look a little bit neater, is a bobby pin. Ideally, the smallest one you can get makes your life a little bit easier and it's not noticeable either. So these are always really handy. So to create this look, the first thing we're gonna do is grab our scarf, make sure you get a big one for this one just because it's gonna wrap entirely over your head. First of all, you're going to fold it in half to create a triangle, like so. Then what you're going to do is grab the flat piece and put it onto the back of your head so the pointy triangle part is here on your forehead. So once you've done that, pull the sides out like this and then you're just going to wrap it up and across over your head, like so. You should have this. What you're gonna do now is this flappy bit here, this is just the access from the back, so just make sure you're comfortable with your head shape at the back. And then you can then fold this a little bit in. Just tuck it underneath the knot. So once you've done that, all you're gonna do now is do another knot. Super easy. And then all you've got to do is with the little pocket you've created is just tuck in the excess. If it is a bit long and you can't fit it all in, I always then just do another knot. This is the first one. Okay, so headscarf number two, um, you can probably see from my profile picture on my YouTube, but we're going to create this look. So this one is dead easy and anyone can do this one. I actually think this is probably one of the easiest ones, but also has the most effect. This is a really thin scarf, but you can use any small thin scarf. All we're going to do with this one is get to the middle area of the scarf. Pop that on the back of your head and then bring to the front. And then we're just gonna tie a knot at the front. You can tie a knot or a bow. So because this one's longer, I'm gonna create a bow. And then just pop it in, one side in. I tend to, for pictures and stuff, leave a side down just because it looks quite cute. Um, but for like actual going out purposes, just tuck it behind your ears. And you've got a cute little bow like that. So the third headscarf we're going to do is this look. 
the more commonly sized headscarf. It's usually a smaller square like this. I absolutely love the pattern on this one. This is from Oliver Bonus. So with this one, you're gonna do the same thing again and fold it into itself to create a smaller triangle. Once you've done that, we're gonna just fold in the point so that it's not in the way. And then once you've done that, just fold it in once more, just a little bit, like so. Oh. <laughs> Let's do that again. Like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> like so but because this fabric is super slippery as you just saw this is when I'm gonna grab my little pin and I'm just gonna pin that shape in place just so that point of it doesn't fall out again so it should look like that with the pin in it so then once you've got your shape you're gonna pop it instead of doing it from the back like we have been doing do it from the front And then this is just super easy because then you can just tie it. This gives me a bit piratey vibes. Okay, and we're on to the last one. That went so quick. I wish I had some more to show you, but I literally don't. Anyway, so now we're back to the big scarves. This is another huge one. I don't know where I got this from actually, but it's huge. I don't know if it's all in. So with this guy, we're gonna create this look. The really nice circle, not front. So same as we did before, triangle. And then same again, point at the front and then flat part at the back. And then just tie it once like we did before, just readjust it. Oh my god, I am sweating. <sighs> okay, so now we've got this wonderful situation. What we did before is we just kept knotting it but this time what we're going to do is we're going to pull it tight and then we're going to twist the balance pieces together. Once you've done that spin it around in a circle and then tuck it in. So there we have it everyone, they are my four favourite headscarf styles that I love to do in the summer. I hope you enjoyed and I hope it was really helpful. And if you have any other questions, please leave your comments down below and I will get back to you. And please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe. See you soon.